Well, good morning out there, all you viewers to play later. How we doing today? I know, we're dipping back into that nasty universe, the Age of Sigmar. Why? Well, I got a bunch of stuff, and I've got some painted, especially like this guy. And this guy taught me some new stuff, which I think is really, really cool. But still, I like Age of Sigmar. Get over it. As you know by that thumbnail, everything else clicked on to get here today. We're going to look at the Night Quest star. Is it Dakin? Dacian Anvil. Okay. Right out of the get-go, I gotta tell you, he is not listed on G-Dub's website, but we're gonna get the adulting out of the way right now. You know how we do it, so let's roll that beautiful bean footage. What up, you amazing people? Hope you're doing well today. Chris has asked me to do a quick elevator spill just for you. Now, here at Copper John's, I'm always preaching, be proud of who you are, no matter what. What this means to me is simply that you're gonna go out there to the world and present yourself in a way that you are proud of. So my job is to create something that allows you to do that. So here at Copper John's, I have 13 different scents, all in beard oil, beard butter, beard balm, mustache wax, spray clone, and a few of the solid clones. But we also have some amazing cold press soaps, beard shampoos, whether conditioning or stripping, beard conditioner, and some crazy cool combs. I am truly grateful for every one of you guys. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to hit me up. I'm here. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Amazing company, amazing owner. Click that link. You're not going to be disappointed. I am currently filming this video on Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. Currently on Amazon, he's $39.99. It's a character manager. Games Workshop always charges more. They say there's only nine left in stock. Order soon. Well, if you want one, I would because, like I said earlier, when I was looking it up as of that day of making this video, he's not on Games Workshop's web store, which I can kind of see because maybe he's an older figure. He's not in the third edition um, Battle Tome. So I don't know if they made him for, like, Warcry. I don't know if they made him for a crossover. I don't know if at one point he was a character. I, I don't know. But still. One of the things I thought was really, really cool on the back, there's a painting guide, and I was really, really appreciative of the African skin thing because I suck at it, and I really wanted to do him justice, so I'm glad they gave me that. So between that and Peachy from the Painting Phase channel, I was able to pull something really, really cool off. Now, if you're unfamiliar with G-Dub products, well, number one, welcome to my channel. Number two, everything comes on a sprue. I'm an absolute easy... Lost the sprue, threw it away, did something, but still, imagine me showing you a sprue right here. Every little piece on that sprue comes with a number, so you follow along in your little easy put-together guide, and you should be good to go. Yes, he is a push-fit miniature, but I did glue him in place in certain areas because I really wanted it to be solid, and there we go. All right, enough talking. Time to show you the miniature. He is fully painted, and I am kind of proud of him. There he is. Now, hopefully you can catch the skin and whatnot. Oh, my God. I was really impressed with how that came out with really, really easy steps. And when I'm talking a light highlight of the other stuff, I did start with Dryad Bark. Gave it a wash of Reichlin Flesh Shade, not the gloss, but the normal, and really light highlights of Gorthor Brown and Katie in Flesh Tone. And then after that was done, I went, and eh, that doesn't look right. And accidentally flicked a brush that had known oil, and I went, I like that. So his head got a known oil coating after all that was done. Other than that, everything, and I mean everything on the armor from the parchments to the Stormcast Blue is how I usually do my Stormcast guys. So he came together quick. The one thing I struggled was, did the face turn out okay? Oh, that's a really good shot of him. Maybe I'm gonna have to do this a lot more when I'm showing these guys off. The book was simple, I just gave it like a brownish thing. Touch the middle, I should say the pages with um, a speed paint, I think it was like desert sand or something like that. Gave it a very light sepia wash, and yeah, it was good to go. I liked how the book turned out. Like I said, everything else was just really easy peasy simple stuff. Um, the weapons basically were 
I think I went with plate mail or chain mail. Well, plate mail from Army Painter and chain mail from Vallejo. I went with one of those two and gave him a Drakenhof Nightshade wash. And then went really back over with like some Stormhost Silver as a really, really light. Oops, hold on. Okay, that's really light highlight. I know, my big bald head, but still. Okay, I like to keep these videos kind of short when they're painted. The base was just really easy, simple. Um, Sterling Mud with an Agrax Earthshade Wash. Gave it, you know, the Valhalla Blizzard Snow and some Army Panda Grass Tufts to keep with the theme of my overall Muddy Battlefield Stormcast Eternal Army. And yes, Burnt Umber for the base with... Um, Art Goat over it to give it that glossy look because nobody in my area, nobody's ever really done glossy bases. So I know right away if someone tries to poach a manager, I know right where to go find it. Okay. <sighs> because he is a Night Quester, basically he, he's out there to go recover artifacts, which I thought was neat because right there on his side is a scroll and a pouch. So I thought that was cool. And the book on the back. I, I just thought that was pretty awesome. Like I said, went together real simple. The hardest part was getting out of my head, getting into a different zone to go ahead and paint the African flesh. It's that simple. Okay, now, we're at the best part of the video for me. I like to keep these a little bit short and sweet because I know Age of Sigmar gets a lot of hate, but I'm really proud of what I did with this guy. I am really proud of where skills have developed, and I'm proud of the fact that I can sit down with miniatures that normally would scare the bejesus out of me to try to paint, get out of my head, and get them done. So that's the best advice I have. If anybody's gotten to this point and you're like, how do you paint? How do you do this? How do you... Go out there on YouTube. Find a bunch of videos. Number one, I recommend Peachy from the painting phase. I recommend Duncan Rhodes. Find people you like, like Mediocre Hobbies, The Painting Coach, The War Hipster. Go find those guys because they break things down beautifully on a level that I can't right now because of my crippling imposter syndrome with painting with a camera. That's just me. I don't have a great setup, and yeah. Anywho, now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, wait a minute, wait a minute, I probably forgot something. I don't know, right, most favorite part of the video for me, I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger, all that fun stuff down below. I probably repeated myself, but I don't care, I'm having fun. <laughs> Like I said, do you play Age of Sigmar? If you do, what faction do you do? If you don't play it, you have hatred for it. Can you tell me why? Look, I get it. When g blew up Old Hammer because of copyright stuff, I thought it was the biggest, dumbest mistake of their life. I'm getting into the meta for Age of Sigmar more and more and more. You blew up the old world. Now you have different dimensions and different realms and different everything. Okay. It's like Warhammer 40k for Old Hammer. If you can't see the direct correlation between the Adeptus Custodes and the Stormcast Eternals, I'm just saying, the God Emperor, just saying. All right. Whew. Now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during filming this video, and I'm pretty sure that I did, especially after this last little bit, please hit that big thumbs up. It's only going to give you great karma. Help you roll natural sixes. Unproven theory of mine. But I'm going to put it to the test one day. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm having too much fun. But, guys, there we go. My really weird look at the Stormcast Eternals Night Quest Star, Taken Anvil. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you're having a great day today, a safe day today, and one day I look forward to rolling dice against all of you across the tabletop. <laughs>